pride. To be Jewish is the most beautiful thing in the entire world, if you know what being Jewish is. The greatness of being Jewish isn't that we have different, different skin. It's not true. There are white Jews and black Jews and green Jews and polka Jews. There are all kinds of Jews and they're all Jews. Our blood is not different than anybody else's blood. And that famous Jewish, ah, the Jewish head. <laughs> Jewish. Yeah. If I had a dollar for every dumb Jew I, I met, I'd, I'd not be rich, but I'd be comfortable. <laughs> there are dumb Jews and smart Jews and dumb Gentiles and smart ones. That's not what makes us different. There's one thing that makes us different, and if you want to say your children and your grandchildren know what it is, there's only one thing we have that no one else in the world has, and that is Torah. No one understands it. And save your children with that, and yourself from heartache and from heartbreak. Go home. Go home to Israel. That's your home. And God took us out of Egypt. He didn't say, you're now free. Now go to Skokie. Go to Lincoln. <laughs> go to Brooklyn. Go to Paris. He said, you're all going to one country. Israel. Go there before God forbid the flood comes here. Don't listen to your leaders who tell you that God is paranoid. First of all, I'm not. Secondly, paranoid Jews live longer. <laughs> 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 paranoid? I'm paranoid. Don't let anyone tell you that this isn't Germany. It is not Germany. And know that Germany wasn't Germany either. You think Germany was always SS troops, Gestapo, Hitler? Not at all. Find a Jew who lived in Germany in the 1920s and he will tell you what do you know about the country in which we, which we Jews loved. There was no country that Jews ever loved more than they loved Germany. They didn't even call themselves Jews. They called themselves Germans of the Mosaic faith. They love Germany in a way that none of us here can ever begin to, to, to you know, grasp. Germany had a Jewish foreign minister already in 1922, Walter Rockenau. America didn't have a Jewish foreign, didn't, didn't have a Jewish sector of state until 1972. That's only because he fled Germany. <laughs> If anyone would have asked any Jew in the world in the 1920s who are, who are the worst of the anti-Semites, not one would have said Germany. They would have said Poles and Lithuanians and Slovaks and Ukrainians and Romanians and Hungarians. Of course they would have said, said that. Germans were the best. And it happened there. Why? Not because Germans have horns and tails. They don't. It happened because it was a terrible economic collapse. People lost faith and people lost hope. And when a person loses hope, he'll follow anyone who offers him hope. And that's what happened there. Hitler off, off at hope and they followed him and they did what they did. And you want to tell me it couldn't happen here? It couldn't happen here? Do you know what kind of violence is beneath the surface of this country here? And how much hatred there is here? 